Hi, this is John Young with the Disc Jockey News. With my wedding show, I do music videos. Pretty much all my weddings, all of my high school dances, everything, I'm using videos. Video screens in sizes from five foot up to almost a 20 foot screen, depending upon the venue and what I'm doing. So that means I'm running sometimes 25 foot of wire to projector, sometimes, and like one wedding I'll be doing, uh, or I just did actually, I was going to my projector and then branching off to the house projectors. And I'll have one later in the season where it'll be my projector here. And I'll have a second projector to the left of the head table. I'll have a second, another third projector to the right of the head table. And then I'll have a fourth projector down at the other end of the room. So there'll be four screens showing the same thing in the same room. Now I could do that wirelessly. And I have played a little bit with the wireless technology, but I'm really hesitant with that because of inter potential interference. You don't want to get somewhere and you know when you practice the night before, everything works the day of, all of a sudden there's this weird interference that you didn't expect from a videographer's microphone or whatever it could be. You don't want to chance it. So I like to use hardware whenever I can. So what I'm going to cover today is just some of the different connections I've used successfully here in the last six months with my projectors and I uh, hope it helps you guys a little bit. So uh, cheap ones. This is a little $5 option. You can get this, get this almost anywhere pretty much. You can find this online. But all it is is a VGA to Cat5. Just really no powered connection. Literally just plugging in a 25 to 35 foot um, Cat5 or Cat6 wire and you're running it from projector to projector, or computer to projector. Works very well with the shorter runs. Um, I've done that very, um, quite a bit actually because I like to use this over more expensive, you know, running a more expensive uh, VGA cable. This stuff's cheap, under $5, the wire's under five bucks, so for $10, and then if it gets toasted, I throw out, you know, throw out one piece, not a big deal. Just taking a step up a little bit. Um, this is the MUX LED Mux Lab, we'll, we'll call it. Um, this is a going from the this is the PC side this one comes off the the laptop and it's again a cat5 solution and then the other side goes into the projector this is what I've used many of times it gives me a better signal because it, it doesn't have as much the the integration of the signal as the really cheap option the negative thing with this is that at 50 feet with good wire a good Ethernet or, or good cat5 cable it can work. I've had some cheap ones. It did not work at, uh, at 50 feet. Um, but most of the time, the 50 foot range is about the max with this one, but it gives you a fabulous image. I don't have any dimness that I've noticed with some of the cheaper connections. So again, that is the Mux Lab. It's a two piece thing. Uh, when I bought it, you could buy both pieces together and it was under hundred bucks. I believe now when I was looking online that these are together around that hundred dollar range, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, if I'm doing HDMI, which I like doing HDMI whenever possible, if it's a 50 foot run from my laptop to the projector, I've got it. Um, if I'm running two projectors, I've been running a little JTEC digital. This is an HDMI splitter and it's an amplifier. It comes in with one, out with two HDMI signals. I've been running a 30 to, 30 to 50 in and in splitting and going with two fifties to my projectors and it's worked wonderfully. Haven't had any kind of um, image issues and you know, stuttering or anything. So this little JTEC digital thing, I think might be about 30 bucks online, but you can get that, but it's at a amplifier, splitter and amplifier. Kind of a cool little device. But my new favorite one, and this is the one when I was telling you about that, that four projector set, that's what this StarTech device can do. It is a two piece. Each piece has its own little uh, a power supply. And what it is is a Cat5 connects to two. So you come in, and this is one of the things, if you're playing with a lot of VGA stuff, you need to get yourself some male to male and female to female connections because you'll need to switch genders every once in a while and this is a prime example. So I come in with the VGA and it comes from there and you'll see on this it has monitor right here, monitor one output and monitor two output. So I can literally come in and this acts as a splitter to one and two. Then a Cat5 bounces over to the other one and it pops in here and it gives me monitor three and monitor four. Another splitter. With all four projectors hooked up, I've done this, and the image from the first looks, before I, you know, it went straight into the first one, and then I went through the splitter and the, um, and, and the cables, ran 100 feet of Cat5 between the two, and the image looked exactly the same from one to the other. So all four looked as good as the only one hooked up with the computer. So I was really, really happy with this. This is a StarTech, StarTech, uh, da, 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 VGA over Cat5 video extender is what it's called. But again, it uh, has two pieces. Check that out. I believe that was under 100 bucks for this, somewhere in that ballpark, maybe 100, 150, but you can find them online. So those are some of the video things I've been using with my VGA K5 
can my VGA projectors to get those images around the room. Um, I'll try to get some links in the description below if I can find links for these things, but some pretty cool stuff. This is John Young with the Disjockey News.